Hey you guys, it's Diane here with Pretty Fun Stuff YouTube channel and today I have um, kind of a little craft with me, um, just an inspiration kind of video. Um, so I have been receiving these um, kits from Diamond Press and this is the last one in the series. It's called uh, Diamond Press Friends Family Stamp and Die Kit. So this one is the latest one. I think it's the last one in um, the ones that I'm going to receive. I think I got one, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth one. So, and they came every couple of months. And, you know, I think I did a... I think I did a video, a design team video of the first one. And my intention was to do a video for you guys using these sets every time I got them. Well, of course, with the busy seasons and, um, you know, COVID and uh, design teams and that sort of thing, of course, I wasn't able to uh, do what I wanted to do. But here are some of the... Um, embossing folders that come in this kit here's a um instruction sheet kind of a inspiration sheet so this is what comes in this kit yeah family and friends by diamond press so yeah you get this pretty die and then you get the inlay and this is what it creates and then you get these dies uh, sister, friend, mom, the butter, two different butterflies, a leaf, and then you get these stamps, and then here's some samples, and you always get a, 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 a folder, cutting folder in the kit, and then here are the dies that this set came with, so this is mom, sister, friend, this is the leaf. This says love you and this says special friend and then you get the butterflies and then you get the pouch to keep everything in. This can go in your little binder and the magnetic plate that your dies go on. So and then that goes in your binder because it has the rings here. So that's what I got. So I wanted to like... Um, just do a few samples for you if you have this kit you receive this kit and you want to oh my god what am I going to do with this so um, I'll show you what I came up with and then you know you can go from there um, I love the stamps they're very um, their stamps are very um, pliable um, they're not hard. I, I really like how they feel. Very nice stamps. Um, so we're going to do some stamping, some embossing, and some die cutting today. I'll show you the first card that um, I did. And here it is. So I used the die cut here. It says love you and I used bow bunny paper that I got from Tuesday morning this is cottontail collection so I used this and I also used some um, metallic this is metallic cardstock from Anna Griffin so I used a little piece of that. Um, so this is an A2 size card. So it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And then the blue measures about three and seven eighths by um, about five and a quarter. Um, and I actually cut it at, to emboss it, I cut it at uh, four and a quarter by five and a half and stuck it in the embossing folder. 
and I embossed it and then I trimmed it after afterwards trimmed it in my paper trimmer because I wanted to see some of this printed fabric on the edges so then um, the die cut I just used um, so I used I'm probably not going to be able to find it now oh here it is mm. Here's the green paper. So I used that for the die cut. And then I used the cream, this, for the other one. So what I did was first I used this die by itself to cut the green. So it cut me a solid piece, okay? See that? And then I used both of them on the cream. And then I've got the Love You. Okay. And what I did when if I glued them together, I offset them so you could see the little green leaves in with the cream. So that's how I did that. Isn't that cute? And of course, I embossed the blue. And then this is just from the paper collection, the, the little stripes. So, um, the really easy, simple card that you can make. Now, oh, I love this stamp. It says, life is so much better with you in it. Love that stamp. And that comes in with this kit. Very nice saying. Now, if I wanted to, I could take some of these little birdie flowers and I could just glue these on here. See that? So you could do additional embellishing on your card. See how that changes the card? You could also maybe cut out one of the butterflies and add a butterfly or scrap the flowers Cut two of the little butterflies, one here and one here, and just have the butterflies. Maybe the person, the recipient loves butterflies, so you could add that. So those are just some suggestions on how to embellish. You could also take some little pearls um, or some rhinestones and add to it. So here's some pearls I have in my stash. So you could, you know, take three little pearls and put those at the top and maybe over here. Or you could do a whole line of pearls if you really want to bling it out. So there's other ideas that you can do. You don't have to just stay with the sample. You can add some embellishments to to add a little extra to it. So I just wanted to give that suggestion. All right, so I have a couple of cards that we're gonna do together um, today. So you can see how this set works. Um, so I have done some prep prepping to maybe save a little bit of time. Um, also, I wanted to mention the kit prior to this one, it came with the circle die. So once you, once you have received the kits, this, you can cut this out for, so if I didn't want to use these sentiments and I wanted to stamp one of these stamps, and cut that out, I could do that. So I could stamp and then cut it out and then I could place that and, and, and cut it. So that's another idea. So they did give you the inner die in the prior set to this. So keep that in mind, you can interchange your sets um, and use them. 
Okay, so I've started this little card. I just got an idea. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We're going to find out together. But I've prepared some of the what we're going to need. So this is an A2 card base. It's a 110 pound card stock. I cut it at four and a quarter. And then this is a 11. Okay. And then you score it at five and a half and you fold it and that's your card. Okay. I cut a piece. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. This is a piece from the Bow Bunny paper. You can use any paper you, you have. Okay. I inked the edges a little bit just to kind of give them um, a border. We're going to gl glue that down in a few minutes. But that's going to be our card base. Okay. I got a piece of Anna Griffin metallic light purple cardstock. You can use any kind of cardstock you can use I would I like the metallic cardstocks for embossing but you can use just regular cardstock also it doesn't have to be metallic okay it can be any kind of cardstock and I know that Michaels now sells a whole line of metallic cardstocks so, um, if you don't get a chance to, um, get the metallic card stock from Anna Griffin, go check out Michael's. They do sell some. Here's my diamond press marquee. We are going to take the embossing folder. I'm going to turn it this way into the machine and I'm going to run it through. Now my machine does squeak a little bit because I tried to put too much through it one day and so now it squeaks and I need some WD-40 to stop that and I don't have any right now so sorry about that okay so here we did a little embossing hopefully you can see that it's not real real deep but it's it's pretty um, if you want a deeper emboss, what you could do, I'm not going to redo it because I wouldn't line it up, but you could always put a paper shim in your, if you think it's not embossing deep enough, you can always put it in a thin paper shim and try that first and see if that helps. But we're going to go with this today and... Um, I think I'm going to trim this down slightly because I think I'd like some more of that polka dot to show. So, let me get my trimmer. And I'm just going to trim this down just a little bit on the side here. And I do need a new blade <laughs> in my trimmer also. So hopefully it'll do good for me. All right. So let's see if I like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to trim it just a tiny bit more. It looks like I cut this pretty good on the top and bottom. I want just a tiny bit more. And I'm just taking a little sliver off. All right, I think that'll work for me. All right, we're going to put that away. And so let's go ahead and take this and put this on our card. And I'm going to use a little bit of AT ATC tape. And then I'm going to use a little bit of glue. And... So, I was just kind of playing today with this kit, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and prepare something for you guys. 
tips because some of y'all might be inspired by this and I know there's lots of you out there that have this kit that just got it and I know that you have these other kits I haven't been seeing a lot of samples so I thought well I'll just do a few samples maybe it'll inspire someone so I'm gonna put that on my card and I do usually like some white around my edges but this kit kind of lends itself I want, really wanted to show the polka dots so I'm gonna place this and I think I'm gonna ink the edges just a little bit I'm using this decades ink by graphic 45 and I'm just gonna lightly go over the edges just very very ever so lightly I don't want to do it real hard just very very lightly kind of give that a second to dry all right and then I'm going to place this right here I'm not going to pop it up I'm just going to glue this one down because I have an idea to pop up the sentiment on this card I am using um, art glitter glue dries clear glue from Heartfelt Creations. You can get this many places now. It's readily available. A lot of people use that very bare glue too now. I do have some of that, but I haven't tried it yet. All right, so there we go. There we got our embossed layer. Okay, very pretty. And next, um, so this sample, as you can see, see this is our first sample. So I kind of followed that for the first one. I just changed out the sentiment. And this one, I'm kind of following this, but I want to put something different here. So we've got the embossed layer and we got some butterflies. I've already done one little butterfly here. It's a couple layers. And we're going to make this little butterfly. I want to pop these, these wings up a little bit. So that'll go there. And then um, so I've got my gold and I want this die for the butterfly because I've already done this one. That's that one. And I want this one. Okay. Oh, that one's stuck. Okay, there we go. All right. So I'm going to cut this out because this is the top layer I'm gonna cut this out of the gold so I'm gonna place that down take a little piece of tape and then I'm gonna cut this one out of my pattern paper and I want to use this floral print from my bow bunny collection and see how I used on this one. See how I used the print. So the colors could show through. So I think I'm going to put this little die right here where you could see that purple. The purple and you get the green. So I'm going to tape that down. And I'm going to trim this out. Oops. Okay. So all you need is a little scrap. If I had a little scrap of that, that would be perfect, huh? <laughs> all 
All right, and then I'm going to take my machine, my folder, and I'm going to place both of these in my folder. And we're going to cut these out. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to put these in the machine. Sorry about the squeaking. My husband drives a truck for a living and he's got the WD-40 in his truck. So I can't use it right now because <laughs> he's on the road. Okay, so we are going to use our little spell binders, little cleaner here and see how that came out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let's put these dies back on the sheet here. Get rid of our, okay. And then to save time, I did cut out 110 pound white cardstock to um, base. I'm gonna glue that on. Oops. Uh oh. I lost a little. I lost my little um little thing. You know what? We're gonna fix that. Yes, we are. We're gonna fix that. I'm gonna trim that off and we're just gonna go with it. Okay, <laughs> no worries, no worries. Let's, I want to make this a little thicker because this paper is kind of thin. As you can see, that's why we lost one of the little part of the wing, but it's gonna all work out. See there, nobody has to know that we lost it, except for you and me. Okay. So there we go. And then I'm going to take the gold. I'm going to slightly bend. Just ever so slightly. We're going to put glue here. And a little bit here. Okay. And then very carefully, I am going to place that right on top. Okay, just like that. Get it even. Now this, don't worry about that little bit of white glue showing. That's perfectly okay because this glue dries very clear. All right, so we're going to let that set to dry a minute, okay? Now, let's work on our sentiment. So we've got our butterflies. I'm going to put the diamond press over here. Um, now the sentiment, I wanted to use one of the stamps for you guys. So you can see how nicely these stamps work. We're just going to kind of move this up and out of the way. All right. So I have a little piece of um, scrap, 110 pound cardstock. And... I want to use, I want to make this a Mother's Day card. So I'm going to use the Mother's Day stamp. So here's our stamps. This is just one set of them. We're going to take the Mother's Day. It says, Happy Mother's Day. So pretty. I'm going to place that here on my little stamp positioner. And this is the We Are Memory Keepers stamp press. I did get it from HSN and I love it. Um, the Misty is a little expensive for me. So I purchased this one and I really like it. For a while, um, Tuesday morning had these. Check your Tuesday morning. See if they have any of these. These are really, really nice. 
I don't know if HSN is still selling them. Maybe check with We Are Memory Keepers. But that's who this is by. And I really like this. Um, okay. So, I want to just show y'all. This is another one of the stamps in this set. It's right here. These stamps are really lovely. So, that's this stamp right there. And what I did, I, this is 110 pound cardstock. I took Versa Mark. This is a clear watermark. And I stamped it with that. Then I took gold embossing powder, which I love. You could take gold, pink, uh, green, whatever color you want. And put that on there and then you heat it up and it embosses it and it gives this beautiful finish so that's what we're gonna do with this Mother's Day stamp this set does not come with the dies to cut the stamps out I fussy cut these I don't mind fussy cutting um, it's perfectly all right with me but um, I we're gonna we're gonna do a little fussy cutting too with this stamp so got my piece 110 pound cardstock just a little scrap that i have got my stamp so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna take versa mark sorry about my fan it's i i have to have a fan going so i hope that doesn't bother you too much um and i'm just gonna ink this up pretty good i really like to just stamp it once once and done hopefully that'll be enough if not we can do it over again <laughs> so line up my little holes and we are going to stamp that down okay and then i like to clean it off this is a little bit of water and I just like to, and a baby wipe, and I just like to wipe my stamps. Okay, we'll let that air dry over there. Then I have my little embossing tray. Okay, and we're gonna take this, and we're just going to kind of. Move it around a little bit. And there we go. So, I like to kind of check it. And if there's any area where there's a little spot that I don't want, I'm very carefully, because you don't want to mess up another area, you... Just kind of, you know, wipe it away. All right. I think that's pretty good. I see a couple of dots here that I don't like. There we go. Okay. Oops. Pickers. All right. We got a little. That's, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. No stressing, no stressing. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm just gonna put this back. Take my little brush here. This is what I really do, you guys. <laughs> this is the real deal here. All right, we're gonna set that aside. All right, now let's emboss. It's going to, I don't know what this is going to sound like. Hopefully it's not too bad. And I'm just going to wait till it starts turning for me. 
so we're just gonna keep this on it. I try to go um, to the back and to the front. Here we go, here we go, here we're getting some gold now. It's changing. Look at that, so pretty. I want it all to change. And you see the, and you don't want to keep it on too long and you don't want to get too close because then it'll flatten. Alright, that's, that's good enough. That's good enough. Hopefully that wasn't too loud for you guys. There's not much I can do about the noise. Okay, so there we go. We have a beautiful emboss. Happy Mother's Day. Alright, so now I'm going to set this aside. I wiped off my stamp so I can put it away. I'm going to put it back on its sheet. That keeps things nice. Alright. And I don't think I'm going to do any more embossing with you guys. But that's a sample of how I emboss. Um, our butterfly should be dry now. I'm going to lift up the wings a little bit. So that's ready to go on the card. And then, so what I want to do with this, you, there's a number of things you could do. I could take a circle die, I could, you know, if I had a punch. If I had a, a bigger punch, I could punch that out. Um, I, my biggest punch I have is this one. It's a one inch. Um, I was just going to fussy cut this. But now that I think of it, uh, maybe I should um, use a circle die. Let's see. Let's see if one of my circle dies will fit. This is by... Our daily bread. It's called Pure Circles. I don't know if this will be. Oh yeah. Let's do that. That would be pretty. Rather than me fussy cutting it out. Alright. So I'm going to take a little tiny bit of tape. We're going to tape that down. And I can put this in my marquee you guys. This is not a diamond press die. But I can put it in my, my marquee. So, here's my little folder. I'm going to set it in there just like so. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. And we're going to put this through the marquee. Again, sorry about the little squeaky squeak. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, look at that. Look at that. There's our sentiment. Happy Mommy's Day. How about that? And put the butterfly here. Maybe one over here. Look how pretty that little card is. Now, I could even, if I really wanted to add some more dimension and detail... I could even take this bigger circle. Now I will cover up quite a bit of my um, card, but I could add a border. So let's see what that might look like. Um, let's see if I have some maybe darker purple cardstock that might work. That's so at all on the bright side. Let's see this one. Hmm, I don't know if that's contrast enough. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? This is all on a whim, you guys. This is what I this is just what I do here. Um 
kind of like this one. Let's do that. Let's do that. So I am going to take my larger die, take a little bit of tape, and let's trim this out because that's not going to go through the machine. It's too big. I'm going to put this back because that's a scrap. All right. And let's go ahead and put this through the little marquee. And we'll cut this out. Alrighty, we got that. And it's trash. Okay, and look at this. Look. Look how pretty that is. So we'll have a, like a little border. Now I can do one of two things. I can glue this straight down and I think I'll pop that up. So let's do that. So this is a, um, our daily bread designs pierce circle and then that's the code if you're interested. Those are really, that's a really nice circle set. If you don't have that um, Sizzix or um, Spellbinders makes circle dies. If you're a beginning crafter, I would suggest to get your basic dies, basic squares, basic circles, um, rectangles. Um, that's good to have um, in your crafting arsenal. If you enjoy this kind of uh, crafting, I would suggest to get those dies. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna center this in here. That looks so pretty with those little pierced dots around the border. Very pretty. So I'm just kind of massaging the paper. It got a little distorted when we warmed it up from the uh, embossing, okay? And then I think what I'd like to do is pop this up on pop dots. So we'll put that on the card like so. I think that would be a really sweet. I could even add another butterfly to over here. Um, let's see. We could even do something like that. I don't know about that. So, but see how you can just kind of play with it till you get I really, um, I really want to show off the embossing, so uh, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Let's, um, let me put a little more glue right there that's not going down. Okay, so now I'm going to put pop dots on here. Okay, I have this little, I get this from Walmart. Um, there's a numerous, you could get this on eBay. Um, it's just little, I think it's by Scotch. I don't know if I have a new one to show you what that is, but anyway. And I use those red handled scissors for this and I use this for my designer paper um, I like to put a little glue on there so this is for sticky stuff anything I want to cut um, that's sticky I use this this I only use for my paper I don't 
use this for sticky stuff. And then these, oops, sorry, you're moving. These I use for fussy cutting. So I have specific scissors for um, specific um, um, things. Okay, now let's pull these off. I like this little Cricut little hook. Um, I use it all the time. It really saves your nails. It's very handy if you uh, have the opportunity to pick that up. And that can be found wherever Sussex, um, I mean Cricut uh, items, tools are sold. All right, we're gonna put this in the corner right here. Happy Mother's Day. We'll make sure that's straight. And we'll go ahead, let's go ahead and attach our butterflies. And put one right here. So pretty. You know what? I'm going to put glue on here too. Just so that it's secure. And then this one, I think, let's see. I'm trying to decide if I want to pop that up on a pop dot or not. I think I might that way it will kind of so we're gonna put a little pop dot right here on this side and my little extras I just put on there and I'll use it later. Always wind up using them at one point or another. Now I do like to put glue anytime I have some, uh, you know, sticky like stickers. I always still use a little bit of glue just for um, added strength. Um, I live in a humid area. So, um, stickers will not stick after a while where I live. So, I have stickers in my stash that you take them off of the sheet and they fall off. <laughs> they fall off the sheet because they won't stick anymore. So, you have to use glue. To stick, if they're older stickers, I have to use glue to stick them down. Oh, I'm going to put a little glue over here because that's going to touch my sentiment. Alright, so here we go. Look at that. We'll put that little butterfly there. Pop up that wing a little bit. And there. Alright, so... That card is done. Now, if you wanted to add some extra embellishments, of course you could. I like the embossing. I think that looks nice. And then, of course, on the inside, you would stamp your sentiment. You could stamp something like, you're the best. That would look great um, on this. Or, you are amazing. That would be great for mom. So I'm not going to do that now, but you could definitely do that on your card. So there's our card that we made together. Okay, I have one more in mind if you want to stick with me. Um, I do have it partially done. And this is, this is what I've done with this one. So this is another A2 size card. Okay. And this is four and a half by uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. 
and I just took some pink solid cardstock, cut it just a little bit smaller. That's about um, an eighth of an inch around the edge. Then I cut, this is from the pattern paper from the Bow Bunny Cottontail Collection. We're going to place this down here. This um, is a little bit smaller, of course, than the pink. You can see that. So let's go ahead and put that down. You don't need to use a ton of glue. Just a little goes a long way. Okay, we're going to center that on our card. Then I like to use my bone folder to get out any air pockets. I did ink the edges slightly, and you could ink the edges of, you know of your um, pattern paper with any color you have in your little stash. Okay, it doesn't have to be the same as me. Now this is, this little piece, I used that oval die that came in the previous kit, and it is here somewhere. But y'all saw it earlier. I showed it to you. I don't know where it went to. So I cut that out. That's frustrating. I cut that out. And I backed it with 110 pound cardstock. We're going to place that in the center. I think I'm going to pop that up. Then just like I did the Happy Mother's Day um, stamp just like I did that you know how we embossed that together that's how I did this I stamped them with the Bursa mark and then I fussy cut these out okay we're gonna place those like this and then we have this die it's a special friend this is from our kit it's this die right here okay we're gonna take that we're going to put this on this gold. This gold cardstock is from Anna Griffin, the Anna Griffin line. It is also available at HSN. You have to watch Anna Griffin though. Her stuff sells out really fast. Um, so, get my, um, my cutting folder here. I'm making a mess. I am making a mess, you guys. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna cut this out. Bring in my marquee. All right, y'all ready? We're gonna cut this one out. Sorry about the squeaking. My husband needs to get home with that WD-40, huh? All right, we're gonna get rid of the little extras. All right, here we go. Here is. Look. What I like about these dies with diamond press, they always cut so well. I don't have to take a lot of effort to get all the little things out. They just, everything just cuts out so nice. I really like their dies. Okay, so, um... Hang on, I'm going to get a few of these little extras out. Alright, so on this little, um, on this one, I'm going to put this back on my sheet. Okay, so here, this is what you have when you cut, cut just the circle. Okay, that's the just this part. This is what you have. Now, had I put this around it I would have got this too okay y'all see that yes okay but I only use the sentiment part okay now what I want to do with this I'm gonna cut this out of the circle so I'm gonna take my fussy cutting scissors and 
I'm just going to clip this. I'm just going to clip this out. We'll fix this in just a minute. I'm going to clip that. I'm going to clip that. See what I'm doing? And I'm going to clip this. I'm just going to clip it away. All right. That's what we have. So let's get rid of these. Now, I'm going to shape this. This is where these little scissors come in handy. I'm going to shape these. I'm actually going to cut that off a little bit. That's kind of in the way. All right. I'm going to clip. I'm just going to shape the, right, the top of this L. Just a little. You know, you just kind of follow the lines and curve it a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's really going to pay this that close attention to it. Okay, you can have other things on your card. So, we're just cleaning this up. Just cleaning it up a little bit. Okay, that's all we're doing. Just cleaning it up. You can do this. This isn't hard. Okay. Then what we're going to do. See how I already have this one cut out. I already cut this out of a 110 pound cardstock. I did it the same way. But what we're going to do to make the gold a little bit stronger. I'm going to glue them together. Now. If you wanted to, you could offset it and have a little shadow effect. A lot of people like to do that. A lot of people like to take black and do a little shadow effect. This time, I'm going to put it right, I'm going to do my best to put it right on top of the other one. And we'll see how I do. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of glue. Now, hopefully y'all can see this and I'm only going to do half of it. Okay, so I'm putting glue on half of it. We'll do just half. And then that way I can maneuver that half and get it right where I want it because this glue dries very quickly okay if I tried to do the whole thing I wouldn't I wouldn't do a good job so I'm just doing half of it and then I'm gonna kind of let this dry a little bit and then I'm gonna do the other half okay see you can see a tiny bit of white. It's not going to make a difference. I promise. It's not going to make a difference. Okay. Hang on. Let me take a little sip of drink here. Okay. So now. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put glue on the other one. On the other half. Okay. Be, just be gentle. Okay, we're just going to put a little bit of glue. It'll come out. Okay, here we go. Just a little bit of glue here and there. Doesn't have to be a lot. Just a little bit. You can always wipe off the excess. It dries clear. Alright, now I'm going to kind of maneuver around and it's okay if you get a little bit right here I'm not real straight you just kind of gotta work with it And I'm by no means a professional, you guys. I'm I'm right in here with you. 
okay I haven't been doing this that long so I'm still experimenting myself okay I think that looks pretty good it says special friend all right this is just a little baby wipe okay and then I think what I'd like to do with this And that kind of, it's a lot stronger now with that 110 pound cardstock behind it. I, I like it much better. And I think we'll just put this right there. We'll pop it up. That'll be pretty, huh? So, what I want to do is I'm going to take this little die cut piece that I fussy cut. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Okay, like this. I'm going to put that at the top. Okay, just kind of inlay it there. I think that's pretty. And we're going to take this one and put it at the bottom, like that. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to put a little bit of glue here, like so. I'm going to put this like that. That's pretty, huh? That's pretty with that embossing. See what you can do with the stamps? That's just stamping. And if you don't, if you don't have embossing, just stamp it with a pretty pink color or, or blue or green or just stamp it with some pretty ink. And then we're going to put this right here. I'm just going to glue that in. The special friend. Woo! We're just going to glue that down. This is, I'm not going to try to pop this up or anything because this is very delicate this is a very delicate die i i wouldn't be able to get my pop dots on here okay so we're just going to glue this down it's going to look great okay Put a little bit of glue if you need to get a little tweezers to hold it to place it where you want it this is what I do. I just place it where I want it, get it centered. Look at that. Very nice. Move it a little bit. That looks beautiful. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. Special friend. Okay. And then what we can do on the back of this, we could put some, some pop dots. So let me get my, my red handled scissors, because that's what I use for sticky stuff. And we're just going to cut now. Also, some people use foam. Some people use uh, packaging. Uh, that they got from you know parcels that they received so you don't have to get this um, a lot of people use other items other than the Scotty stuff. I use a little bit of everything. Sometimes I use foam for, you know, this is a little faster for videos. So that's why I'm using this today. It's a little faster for me just to do that. Okay. And this will dry those little white area so it will dry clear 
and just my card was a little just kind of moving it a little bit okay so then that's gonna go like that look how cute that card's gonna be how cute i love it and i can always add if i want to add some additional uh flowers if i want to die cut some flowers i could do that you know that first kit that we got um with this diamond press auto ship you got flowers in that kit so you could die cut some flowers and add that to this card that would be pretty too you know so just experiment um sometimes i just you know cut a bunch of stuff i stamp a bunch of stuff and you know i just you know, like I, I, I did these. We didn't even use them, you know. But that's okay. I'll, I'll put those in a little baggie and I'll use them some other time on another card. But there you go. There's that cute little card. I could even take some pearls or some rhinestones. I could add some pearls, three little pearls at the top and at the bottom. Um, you could take some rhinestones look I have a, whole, have a whole bunch of rhinestones I could even put rhinestones on there I could put a rhinestone in the center of the flowers that would be pretty look I have um look I have these gold this would look pretty I have these gold gems I could put a little gold gem in the center of that flower so I could spruce this up just a little bit more if I feel like, you know, I wanted to do that. If I, This is fine just like it is. We could mail it like this, put our little sentiment in there, say, um, look at this, look at this saying, this is beautiful. Um, if friends were flowers, I'd pick you. That would be great for the inside of that card. You know, I could stamp that, maybe stamp the little flower beside it, and that would make a beautiful um, presentation on the inside of my card. Okay, you guys. Well, that concludes our little uh, demonstration for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I usually <laughs> don't um, do this kind of thing, but... You know, I was in my craft room creating and I was using this kit because I just received it. And I thought it was so cute. And uh, hopefully I've given you some inspiration on how to use this kit. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions. Um, I'll do my best to answer your questions. And uh, thank you guys for joining me. This is Diane with Pretty Fun Stuff YouTube channel. And y'all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the little bell to get notifications. And you'll get um, a notification when I have another video that's out. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.